right, today I am using the Insta360 as a single lens mode action camera. I'm recording in 4K standard mode. I got my white balance set to auto. So I'm practicing, man. I'm trying to get this filmmaking thing going. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. Just figured I'd just cruise through the neighborhood and uh, get a little visual out here, man, because I don't see a whole lot of videos using the Insta360 like this. It's just not a lot. I haven't, I haven't seen one actually. So I really haven't seen them and I don't know why people use them just in 360 mode because it's really good in 4K. And what I'm trying to see now is what camera I'm gonna buy next. I'm thinking about the X4. I can get that and I can use my X3 on my helmet because it does pretty good as you can see let me make sure it's right where it needs to be it is to grab it and tighten everything up I got this cheap cheap Amazon mount but it does the job it really does I was thinking about the weight of the camera, but I did some research and it weighs 6.3 ounces. That is 180 kg. And the Ace Pro weighs 6.2 ounces at 179 kg. So not that big of a difference. It all depends on what kind of look you're going for. What do you want in the camera, but this camera is just fine the way it is. You know, when it rains, I'll be able to get some footage. I'll be able to wipe the camera down. But I, I don't know, man. The Ace Pro lens, I hear once you drop that or crack it, it's done. At least on this, I can put my, um, my uh, lens covers on it get my lens covers on it and I'll be good and I have the X4 mounted onto my three my selfie stick because I got the the mount for the selfie stick that's what I like about this mount I have to do a video on that later but I just want to focus on this single lens mode right now that's why I wanted to ride around a little bit, get a video done for you guys, so you can see what it really looks like before you make your decision on what camera you want. Because I can see myself buying the Ace Pro down the line, but since I already have the X3, and I don't wanna really like get rid of it, I could mount it on the rear. That would be pretty cool. So it's different ideas. And just get the Ace Pro because the Ace Pro does really good at nighttime. And it keeps the color and the visual is pretty good. So that's going to be definitely my third camera. But for now, since I already have the X3, I'm torn between getting the X4 and the Ace Pro. So I am just really trying to weigh my options because I'm going to the tail of the dragon soon. I need to redo my trip. The first time I went, I was just feeling my MT-09 out. And now that I have learned how to use this bike properly, I think I can make some pretty cool content up there in the mountains and plus it's nothing but flat roads around here man Florida is just flat and there's not a whole lot to do they do have the tail of the gecko 
that's on the west coast i've been thinking about doing a trip over there that's a pretty cool place you know maybe i'll take a trip and go do some moto camping over there tampa area it's always fun in tampa man tampa they got a lot more stuff to do then over here, I'm basically on the retirement side of Florida. The Treasure Coast, it's not really that much to do. When you want to get out, you normally go down south. You know, Broward has a big bike night, and that is huge. You know, they have that on Wednesdays. I might catch one of those before I get out of here and go to the to the dragon just to have some content to go through. I'm gonna buy me a couple of more SIM cards so I can fill them up and when I wanna keep something on there, I can keep it because right now I'm just using one SIM card and at the end of the day, um, editing getting what I need to get out and that's that yeah what up buddy oh man it's good to be off I got a four-day weekend I took yesterday off and I got three more days you gotta love that cuz all the bikers are gonna be on the island and normally when I'm going to work on Fridays, everybody is heading to the island, and I be like, man, I just want to come out and hang out. So today, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do me, man. I'm gonna go focus on content and get it out here. I wanna put out more stuff for everybody to watch. It's just I never have time off, and I have time off today. What are y'all doing up here? What is going on? What is going on up here? This is, this is crazy, man. These people are just doing what they want to do when, when they're driving, operating a motor vehicle and just slow up and you don't know what's happening. But yeah, I want to get closer to the audience and I want to be able to really do a moto vlog. And this is why I'm doing this. So I'm just, I, I want to connect with you guys more and talk more and be able to show you what I'm seeing when I see stuff, when it happens in real time. You know, to be honest, editing 360 footage, you don't know what people want to look at. You don't know what anybody wants to look at. But if I'm doing a moto vlog, it is what it is. It's a moto vlog. You know what you're going to see. You're going to see what I see. Look at that. I'm not even putting my foot down. I done got so good. Back when I was a beginner, when I slowed up like that, my foot would just go down. Now, it's just like I slow up on the bike and I take my time. It's skills, man. It's developing a skill. People do not realize riding a motorcycle is a skill. You know, just like what I do, I'm a welder, aerospace welder. It's a skill. You gotta be ready, man. You gotta know, you gotta have knowledge to operate that welding machine, just like you have to have knowledge to operate a motorcycle. You know, a lot of people just know how to go fast and straight. They don't really know how to turn. And that's the thing of it, man. You, you have to learn your motorcycle. So a lot of people want to be moto vloggers, but all I see is reels and nobody's really talking about anything anymore you know I want to be that guy that reviews cameras and goes on trips and show y'all a different side of me that I never get to do because I'm always working 
I'm gonna free up some time to create some content. This is gonna be one of my first official videos that I really sat back and thought about before I put it together. A lot of people be mumbling and just not really talking about anything. Me, I wanna, I wanna just bring to y'all some different stuff, show y'all Florida. I might walk a trail tomorrow. If anybody wanna see me walk a trail in Florida, like take the 360 out, let me know, man, cause I will go out there and explore. I have a place in mind because I wanna bring my audience in, man. I, I don't wanna be one dimensional just the guy on the motorcycle. I want to actually travel. I want to go places to eat and just bring y'all along, man. YouTube is, that's a page that, oh my God, y'all in the wrong lane, wrong blinker. What you doing? Which way you turning? They cut on the left blinker first and then the right blinker. That just lets me know. Now you get over here and don't even use your blinker. <laughs> oh my God. A lot of weirdos out here. <laughs> Bad drivers. Yeah, so I'm going to go to a trail this weekend and get out here and really go on a little baby adventure. And that's in the morning. I'm going to take the drone with me, my backpack. I'm actually going to start packing the backpack up tonight because I'm able to put my helmet, it holds, it holds the helmet, let me get over. It holds my helmet, so I'm able to carry that and walk a trail. It's a couple of trails that I wanted to walk and I just haven't been there and I'm gonna go. I really wanna get out here and explore. But this Insta360 X3, man, it's, it's a pretty good camera. Especially in single lens mode, because nobody ever uses it in single lens mode, you know? You can use it as a dash cam, man. That's pretty much what it is right now, but it, it's my moto vlogger camera. It's my action camera. The only thing about this that I don't like is that I have my roll wireless connected to it. So if it rains, I don't have a microphone connection. But if I get the X4, the X4, you can connect to your Cardo. And I don't know about connecting to the center, but the Cardo, you can connect to the X4. They say they have the technology coming to mesh capability and everything so we're gonna see how that is that's one of the reasons why I wanted the X4 because if I'm able to moto vlog without a mic just using my cardo straight to my X4 then that's great I don't know why these people just came out and blocked everything this is just horrible Y'all some bad drivers. You are a bad driver, my guy. But this is my video. This is what I'm, you know, I've been working on and thinking about all morning. But so far, it looks pretty good. I can deal with this. Let me look this way car behind me slow down buddy I'm go and pick up some things I need some dish soap I like to get my dish soap from the dollar store just because it's actually it, well everything is not a dollar no more but close to it then I'll head to the grocery store but this is my video man this is what I've been working on and hopefully this will help some of you guys make a decision on if you want the Ace Pro right now, which I'm going to get the Ace Pro. 
just not right now i'm probably going to just jump to the x4 and get the ace pro later or i might buy both of them at the same time i don't know that's how much i'm just torn between those cameras but it's time to do some traveling man i got to get out here and really move around and do some things but I'm going to put the description below because I am an Insta360 affiliate and y'all can check this video out. Um, it's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be on Facebook. So, yeah, man, this is it. This is what I'm doing. This is my first real moto vlog talking about something. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one, man. Thanks for all y'all support.